Hi, this is Luke for UncommonHeritage.com. Um, today we have a barrel and a half barrel, and what I'm going to make is a charcoal kiln. This is a project that I have been wanting to do now for probably a year. I bought this barrel um, sometime, I believe, last summer, planning to make a charcoal kiln. I had no idea how to do it. I just thought I could do it with a barrel, so I bought a barrel. Well, we're going to make it happen today and get it get it going. I have the top cut off the barrel. I left three tabs and this is the piece that I cut off. I actually was going to discard this but I'm wondering if I could bolt it into the top of the other piece uh, to about maybe three or four inches below the top, maybe two inches, um, to act to as a baffle to help it reburn the gases better. As you can see here, I put in some holes in what is the bottom of my kiln. Um, I did this very scientifically. I used the space time theorem. Uh, I spaced them out and took time to drill them. Whether or not it's enough holes, I don't know. Is it too many? I'll find out. I know there has to be some air get in um, just for the burn. And I also know that if there's too much and it's not an oxygen starved environment, that my wood will actually burn. So I took a guess and tried to guess a little on the low side because it's easier to add holes than to take them away. So that's what I've done. I'm guessing that I really should have a few more, but I just don't know. All right, we set it up on three bricks to get air in the holes underneath and I've charged it with wood. I'm going to put some kindling on it and start a fire. Let it burn a little while, then I'll put the top on and probably the chimney depending on how it burns. I'm thinking I'll need it. And there's some wet wood in there. We'll see how it burns. Uh, everything I've heard and read says not to use wet wood. Um, but there's some dry wood too and we'll see how it goes. Okay, the boxes I put in it for kindling are just about gone. I'm seeing a lot of steam come off of this, and the wood is catching, starting to burn slowly. Uh, I can see that it's definitely limited. Um, get a face full of smoke there. I can see that it's definitely limited by the oxygen coming in from the bottom. I'm not sure if that's good or bad at this point. Uh, I would note that. It would probably be better if I had my wood more evenly sized. Um, my daughter picked up sticks today in the yard, and that's what I'm burning. By the way, we're playing with fire. We're also playing with steel with a lot of sharp edges. If this were a safety demonstration, it would never have happened. Be careful, guys and gals. There's a lot of ways this could go wrong. Just put the top part on about 20 seconds ago. We've got some smoke that's still coming out around the bottom. A lot of steam. I'm probably going to get some white smoke out of this because this top barrel had paraffin in it from another project. And I expect that will smoke white until it gets pretty hot. Okay, I wasn't getting enough heat in the top after about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. I didn't time it. I was still getting black smoke. Uh, well, white smoke, I should say. It was, some of it was somewhat brown. And so yeah, it just wasn't getting hot enough. So I took the top off, added some more kindling to try to get more heat in it. I do think I didn't make enough holes in the bottom, uh, but I've got a lot more heat now. Whether or not it's enough, I'm not sure. It's a cold day today. It's about probably about 30 degrees out here. Um, it would be different in the summer if it were 80 or 100. Uh, there would just the whole thing would just heat up faster. But I'm gonna put the top back on and see what happens. Well, it's getting dark out here, and looks like the charcoal itself is burning well as far as I can tell and 
I'm certainly no expert at this. This is my first time making charcoal. I just used the size barrel, half barrel that I had, and if it because it's so tall, the heat from the fire is not it's having trouble heating up the whole large area. It acts more like a cooling fan than a heat chamber. And I think I should have made it something more like, I'm going to say, six inches tall. Um, especially for a cold day like today. Um, I'll probably go ahead and cut it off for the next burn. But I'm going to go ahead and let it burn down tonight. And I will put the fire out or douse the charcoal with water when it's finished burning and then see what I've got tomorrow. Okay, I have the, the kiln charged here with wood. I used cotton wood because that's what I had and I'm anxious to see how it does. Uh, when I burn this cotton wood in my wood stove it has a very acrid smell um, different than really any other wood that I've noticed. Um, I changed the chimney some. I shortened it up just to make it a little cleaner. Um, I opened this. Yeah, it was the size of this diameter. I made cuts in it, bent them up, and it's the same diameter as my chimney now. I also removed the baffle that was inside here. Um, not because I thought it would help, but it just made it a little simpler, and we'll see. I also took this ring off the top of my barrel. On my barrel, it was removable. It had just been crimped on. And the reason I did that was to make it easier to load without cutting my arms or tearing my clothes. And yesterday, here's the charcoal that we got out of that burn. I've got quite a bit more wood in it today. Okay, I'm going to light this and stuff it down in here like that, put a handful of bark on it, and it should light. I'll let it burn a little bit, then get it hot, hot fire, and then put the top on. Um, I did add three or four, maybe five more half-inch holes in the bottom. I'm not sure if I really needed them. Um, we'll see. Last night when it burned, um, when it got to the bottom, it would flame up, blow itself out with a poof, um, and uh, almost an explosion, mini explosion, and then in about a minute or two it would start throwing smoke and then repeat the cycle. And it did that for, I don't know, maybe a half hour or longer. So guys, do remember that when you're burning this, uh, you, you are, the wood is actually putting off gas. In a very real sense, you're working with a gas stove and take precautions. Be careful.